What should I do? Why should a little fairy servant talk so much? What he told you. How I get along with your master. What we've said. It's not for you to ask. As a fairy servant, you should stick to your role. Go get some spiritual medicine. Me? I should stay and take care of Princess Huashu. Go. Thank you, Lady Ayin. Princess Huashu is deeply grateful. You're welcome. Hurry back! Princess Huashu, haven't you already ascended to a lower deity? Why is your spiritual power so weak? The Eagle Clan is seizing the Bi Shui Lingji everywhere, and with my father's life hanging by a thread, I use my own spiritual power to temporarily protect my father's primordial spirit. But how will you hold up yourself? I can't worry about that now. I must hurry back. Otherwise, if the Eagle Clan learns I'm not on the island, they will take the opportunity to attack again. Gu Jin is such a fool. Seeing Hua Shu, his tail is all wagging. He's going to suffer in the future. But it's none of my business. Let him be. What else can I do? Ah Jing. Why do I feel like I've walked past here before? Princess Huashu, but you're still not healed. Even if you go back now... Even if I use all my strength, I must protect my people. Moreover, if it comes to the worst, as long as I agree to the marriage proposal from the South Sea Immortal Clan, then Bainiao Island won't be as isolated and unsupported as now. How can you use marriage as a bargaining chip to ensure the safety of your people? It's just a last resort. You don't need to worry. I've been intensifying my cultivation recently. Maybe I'll find a way to greatly improve my power. And then the Eagle Clan won't dare to do anything anymore. Your Highness, you can borrow this sky-covering umbrella. I think with the protective barrier of it, the Peacock Clan can also keep themselves safe. Ah, Jing. Your Highness, you don't have to look at me like that. It's just lending an umbrella. Resolving the crisis is the urgent matter right now. Take it, Your Highness. I can't repay you for today's grace. Here. Ah Yin. Ah Yin. I'm over here. Where have you been? This inn is too confusing. So stupid. The master servant packed. Isn't Lady Ayin the nominal disciple of Divine Lord Donghua? Why would she? Because Ayin's spiritual power is weak. My master did this to allow me to protect her. Ayin just came out from Dazi Mountain. Still has no sense of direction. Might as well just summon her back later. So it is. Come here.
Are you dumb or what? Such a small inn. And you managed to get lost. Are you idiot of direction? No, I... Here. All right. Just stay here. Don't wander off anymore. Princess Hua Shu, I'm going to find the innkeeper to help you brew some medicine. Thank you. What are you looking at? Take care of Princess Hua Shu. Princess Hua Shu, do you need water? No need. I have things to do. I'm leaving now. Wait. He went to brew medicine for you. If he comes back and sees you've gone, wouldn't his effort be in vain? Why don't you wait here? Wait for him to come back before you leave. What should I do? Why should a little fairy servant talk so much? What he told you. How I get along with your master. What we've said. It's not for you to ask. As a fairy servant, you should stick to your role. The medicine is here. Where is Princess Huashu? She left. She left? But she's still injured. Ah, uh, Yin, didn't I tell you to watch her? How should I watch her? A fairy servant should stick to her duties. Is it my place to ask about things between the master and the princess? No. What's wrong with you? Why the sudden temper? Did I make you angry? Why did you tell Hua Shu? About our master servant pact? Because you were in a hurry to summon me. I had to pick you quickly. When I pinched the spell, Hua Shu noticed right away. Don't worry. Princess Hua Shu is kind-hearted and beautiful. She won't mind too much. Just now, she... kind-hearted and beautiful. Back on Wutong Island, she didn't even know me, yet she was willing to lend a hand, which shows her character. All right, don't be angry anymore. Ah, Yin. Actually, when I was saving someone just now, it seems I got hurt too. It hurts. You deserve the pain. That's better. I knew it. Our little Ah Yin still cares about me. I don't. I just don't want you to slow me down on the road. You fool. Hua Shu this, Hua Shu that. You get hurt saving her. And she just ups and leaves. Don't you find that strange? She's worried about Bai Niao Island. The matter at Purple Moon Mountain. You haven't settled it yet, and you're still worried about her island. You, you... Look at you, all worried. Fine. I won't pretend anymore. Yes. Purple Moon Mountain. Ordinary people indeed dare not approach. But who am I, your elder brother? With my vast divine powers. Using a little bit of my modest strength, I can easily take you into Purple Moon Mountain. Really? Of course. If I believe you, I'm a fool. You don't believe me. Come with me. I'm not going... Why not? Let's go. Let me show you the true capabilities of your elder brother. So this is Purple Moon Mountain. The demonic energy is so strong, no wonder ordinary immortals and demons dare not come close. That's right. If there's no permission, even demigods can't enter. But for your elder brother, it's different. Watch this. You just went in like that. Otherwise, don't worry. I have a special way. You should have prepared a greeting card first. It's too presumptuous to come like this. Who is this fairy lord who dares to trespass into Purple Moon Mountain? It's you. The one with three heads. It's me. How dare you? I am the dragon lord who guards the mountain. 
You ignorant fool. Now get out of here. Is this the method you were talking about? I... I know Bebo. Bebo. Stop! You stupid old dragon. You've grown six eyes in vain. If you dare to harm my... My seventh aunts, distant nephews, neighbor's cousin, I won't let you off. Me too. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. My nephew. It's been over a hundred years. You've just come to see your uncle. You have no idea how much I've missed you. Hug, hug. Me too, I... Bebo, have you seen a nine-tailed firefox? Here on Purple Moon Mountain. I've sensed it. There's no trace of a nine-tailed fox on this Purple Moon Mountain. No? How is that possible? The Fox King was very certain. His nephew entered Purple Moon Mountain. If that's the case, then how do we go to Jingyu Valley to find the Phoenix's immortal essence? Bibo, before my master ascended, he said, there is also a Wutong tree in Purple Moon Mountain. There is. But what do you want to do? That little Phoenix's essence was scattered because of me. My master said her immortal essence is very likely to be in those Wutong trees. You want me to take you to find that Wutong tree? That's right. No way. We can't go, we can't go. Why not? Because the Wutong tree in Purple Moon Mountain is not located in an ordinary place, but is in the Nine Abysses of Hell. The Nine Abysses of Hell? <laughs> 